Welcome to Lit Crit as Fa 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 Dmitri, Dmitri goes to this businessman named Samsonov and makes a crazy business proposal. In response, Samsonov sends Dmitri to Termachnia to offer the same deal to this lumber dude. The same guy Fyodor Pavlovich had been trying to get Ivan to talk with about the land. So if Ivan had gone to Termachnia, he probably would have bumped into Dmitri. So anyway, Dmitri goes to this lumber dude's place in Termachnia. And the guy is super drunk. Also, Samsonov hates Dmitri. Like, everybody hates Dmitri. And this is all all a setup. Samsonov tells Dmitri to call the dude by this name that the dude hates. He also probably knows the lumber dude is a drunk and impossible to have a conversation with, which makes you wonder what Fyodor Pavlovich thought Ivan would be able to accomplish. After trying to wake the dude for like a night and then sleeping there and then the dude getting more drunk the next morning, Dmitri realizes that this is crap and Samsonov sent him here as a joke or something, which he did because he hates him. And later on, Samsonov actually admits that he did this and it was hilarious to him because he's a jerk. So Dmitri gets back to town. He finds Krushinka, but she gives him the slip unbeknownst to him, saying she's going to be working with Samsonov, who that's what she does. And as soon as she leaves him, he becomes pretty sure she's going to see Fyodor Pavlovich, which of course... Of course she's not. So Dimitri goes to this guy named Prohotin to pawn his pistols because he has no money, except he actually does, but more on that later. So after the wacky trip to Tremachna, he's, he's pretty crazy, and at this point he decides he'll go to Madame Oklakova and see if she'll give him the 3,000 rubles that he so desperately needs and wants. Of course, she doesn't like him either, but she is arguably a little quirkier than Dimitri, so instead of a no fuck off from her, Dimitri and we are treated to some vulnerable Vaudevillian antics. So Dmitri goes inside in Madame Hoklakova's and he starts to explain. I knew you would come, though there is really no reason for me to have known you would come. I just, I just knew you would come, Dmitri. Um, great. <laughs> Anyway, I need to speak with you regarding something very important to me. Uh, not to you, just to me. Really? Yes, yes, yes. I, I already know everything. Oh, and it's it's not some religious miracle thing either. Since Father Zosima's corpse was all smelly, I <laughs> decided to become an atheist or something. I know uh, because of math and realism. Yes, realism. That's what I am here about. Let me explain. Oh, yes. Realism and progressiveness and all that for me now. Did you hear about Father Zosima? He died and he smelled. <laughs> Um, I'm no longer religious or something because of that. Please, I, n I need your help. Or my life will basically be over. If you could just let me explain. Oh, no need. I know what you're going through, and I will fix everything. Do you know anything about horse breeding? <laughs> N not the faintest. <laughs> Please listen, I'm in need of 3,000 rubles, and I have a proposal for you that I think- 3,000 rubles? I can give you much more than that. Wait, really? You saved me. I, I was probably going to kill myself or something equally dramatic Um, if you if you didn't. Oh, yes, infinitely more than 3,000 rubles. Infinitely. Infinitely? I, I don't need that much. Just the 3,000 is all I need. I can offer you- Hush, Dimitri, hush. No need to go into it. It is done. Horses are not your thing, it seems. What do you think of the gold mines? <laughs> uh, the gold mines? Um, I don't think of them. Ever. Well, I think of them. I think of them for you. I mean, I've thought of them for you. And the way you walk. Your gait proves that the gold mines would be perfect for you, Dimitri. <laughs> My gait. What's your gait? Oh, it's scientifically a thing, and I lost my faith or something. But, but madam, uh, the 3,000 you so generously promised to lend me- Oh, it's me yours, Dimitri. The money is as good as in your pocket. Not 3,000, but 3 million. I'm giving you a present. Now go to the gold mines, make your fortune. I am very progressive, Dimitri, and I foresee you being rich and building railways and stuff. I foresee you doing so much and all of it will be- Madame, wait, wait. 
I'll totally think about the whole gold mine thing, I promise. I'll even come back and we can talk about it at length um, later, you know, but today... Oh, Dimitri, please, 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 answer me. Will you go to the gold mines, yes or no? <laughs> Absolutely, uh, totally. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, after? Uh, I'll go after, I promise. But now, you know... Uh, oh, hold up. Let me give you this necklace with the patron saint of miners on it for luck. Uh, Here, I'll put it around your neck. Um, wait. Perfect. Now you can be on your way. Thanks, I guess. Um, this is really nice. Um, I, I, I really am in a hurry. No, of course, Dimitri. I'm a very good person now, maybe. Madame, I, I would like to confess to you the thing about Katya and Grushka and all that, which you already know, but for some reason I'm, I'm bringing it up now. Oh, j- just forget all that, Dimitri. Leave it all behind. You'll find a woman after you've made your fortune. An independent woman. By the time you finished with the gold mines, we women, we will have rights and stuff. You know, Dimitri, I'm very progressive. Have I mentioned that? And now I'm a feminist. Um, in that I wrote a letter one time to this Madam, guy. Madam, please. Can I have the sum you promised today? And if not today, then when? What sum? <laughs> The three thousand you promised me? Three thousand... Three thousand rubles? No, I... I haven't got three thousand rubles. <laughs> but you said it was as good as in my hands. Oh, you misunderstood me, Dimitri. I was talking about the gold mines. <laughs> oh, it's true I promised infinitely more than three thousand, but I meant that you would go and work at the gold mines. Oh, the three... the three thousand? Oh, if you meant I was going to give you money, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Even if I had it, I wouldn't give it to you. (laughs) All you need is the gold mines. The gold mines. The gold mines. Oh, the devil! Dimitri has a little bit of a temper tantrum. He scares Madame Oklakova, and then he leaves. And he goes looking for Grushinga. Because he hasn't been able to find her, he immediately decides that she's a fear to Pavlovich's. A dark night. A jealous son. A slightly less drunk servant than was previously believed. A father who's a complete jerk face. Is he? I can't, I can't see in the window. Is, is she in there? Dimitri decides to try the secret knocks that Smerdyakov had taught him. Grushinga, is that you? Oh, he doesn't seem to... He, he seems to not have her in What's there. going on out there? Grigori had woken up and come outside. Why is the window open? It's winter. Why would Master have the window open? Made suspicious by the light coming from Fyodor Pavlovich's window, suddenly Grigori sees a dark shadow across the courtyard. I know who that is. It's the monster. It's the parasite. Ah, shit, I gotta go. Dimitri, realizing he's been noticed by Grigori, begins to run. But the old man somehow is able to catch him and grab him by the leg. The two begin to tussle. Parasite! We just quit it. it, it ah! And in the heat of that moment, Dimitri bludgeons Grigori over the head with a pestle that he had on him. Oh shit, I'm pretty sure I just killed you. You are just covered in blood after I beat you over the head with this pestle. Grigori, I kind of liked you. I mean, you sort of were my dad for like a year. This is sad. But I'm going to get the hell out of here because I don't want to go to prison. And um, this looks really bad. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry you're dead now. Bye. Grushinka, is that are you are you oh, Grushinka? So Dmitri leaves Fyodor Pavlovich's in a full on mania. He bullies Grushinka's servant into finally telling him where she is. Also, he's now covered in Grigori's blood. So Grushinka, the servant tells him, is in Makria with her first love that Dimitri never even gave a second thought to because he had this weird obsession with his gross father. And then Dimitri breaks. He goes back to Perhotin, the guy he pawned the pistols to, and asks to buy them back. Now, with a wad of cash, and again, covered in blood. Perhotin's confused and alarmed. He's confused because Dimitri had just pawned his pistols due to being totally broke, and now he's flush with cash. Perhotin is alarmed because of all of the blood. 
So Harlan's like, did you get in a fight again? You know, like how he beat up the captain, which wasn't so much a fight as a guy beating up a man who couldn't hit him back because of his socioeconomic class. Yeah, Dimitri says a bunch of incoherent and weird stuff. And then Verhoeven jokingly asks if Dimitri found a gold mine. Dimitri, in response, is like, hey, do you know Madame Huklakova? And Verhoeven's like, oh, did she give you the money? And Dimitri responds with, you know, go ask her and find out. I don't even know. Dimitri then orders all the food and all the booze to bring with him to Makria, and he leaves to go see Grushinka one last time. He is going to kill himself, so before he does that, he's, he goes to go talk to Grushinka. He's going to have a big romantic suicide thing at some point. That's why he needed the pistols. So Grushin gets pretty freaked out at first when Dimitri walks in and she's all hanging out with her Polish buddies. She's like, oh God, he's going to start a thing. And Dimitri acts pretty chill though. So she's like, oh, all right. Maximov is also there in Mokria as well as Kaganov. Remember him? He went to the monastery thing with Musov and he's like Musov's cousin or something. He's there apparently. I don't know where he's been all this time. And Maximov too. So I'm guessing the two of them have just been like palling around. And honestly, I would like to see that spinoff. But anyway, Maximov is claiming hilarious and adorable things like that Gogol wrote dead souls about him and I've decided it's true. So yeah, they're also there. So then the Poles and Dimitri play poker and the Poles cheat and Dimitri offers to pay off Grushinka's betrothed guy who almost takes it but upon uh, being told by Dimitri that he'd only get a small portion now and then all of the rest later he just starts to act all like offended as if he was never going to take it. So Dimitri tells Grushinka about this and she's not surprised because it was clear that the Pole had come back to her now that he needed money and she actually has money. So so then she tells the Polish guy to finally just fuck off. And then Dimitri and she get drunk. And finally, after some time, she confesses her love for him and everything is perfect. And they're going to live happily ever after when the police bust in all Dimitri Fyodorovich Karamazov, you are under arrest for. And he's like, oh no, they found out that I killed Grigory, the murder of Fyodor Pavlovich. And Dimitri's like, wait, what? I don't know. Wait, I 